Hey, what's up everybody? That is George from FC365 and today at Technology at its Finest we're actually installing the uh, Live USB for Windows in order to get access to iRecovery tools. As you probably know, if you want to send a, uh, an iBoot exploit or a payload using iRecovery or if you simply want to access the uh, ISGID engine or you simply want to set boot arguments in iRecovery tool for iPhone, you're not able to do so without installing the um, Live USB filter. If you don't install that filter, let me show you what it happens. You go to CMD, very uh, happy, and you, no, not here, sorry guys. Uh, actually, you go here into the I, uh, recovery and you drag I recovery here, fuck you, color scheme, and you go here and you press enter and um, I recovery is very simple if you if you get used with it. The F parameter will actually upload the file in the FU, what the fuck, which is now deprecated. Uh, it only works with iPod first generation and so on, very old devices, it was deprecated. And recovery mode, it actually talk with um, IBSS in recovery mode. And uh, dash S, it starts a shell in recovery mode. If for example I want to, um, to run S, I can't. It's a got USB, no iPhone, iPod found. Even if your iPod or iPhone is connected in recovery mode. Now, today I'm gonna show you how to fix this thing, how to install actually the filter, because the filter is not installed. I actually uninstall it in order to show you how to install it. But um, I gotta tell you guys, this is very, very hard to uninstall it and never ever, for the fucking name of the God, Never go to uninstall it by deleting live USB 0 DLL that gets created into your system 32 and your syswo 64. If you do that and you restart your computer, your mouse and your keyboard will actually freeze to death forever. Never do that. I'm gonna show you in another video how to uninstall this thing from your computer, but do not simply delete the uh, live USB as you find on the internet. There are a lot of tutorials telling you simply go and delete live USB 0 uh, from drivers folder, from system32 folder and from syswo64. Uh, if you do that, you will remain without any USB uh, port working and you will have to reinstall Windows. No, it doesn't work if you go to um, to your uh, recovery mode in Windows, whatever, it's safe mode in, in Windows. It simply doesn't work, you have to reinstall Windows. So no, for the name of God, do not simply delete that. I'm gonna show you in another video how to actually delete it because you have to work with registers. Now let's just go ahead and uh, and install it. This is the pack you have to download from the description. It's a, um, a direct link. This is what you get. First of all, you need to actually connect your phone in recovery mode. You press on the, on the power button and on the home button and you keep pressing it until the phone shuts down. When the phone shuts down, you take the, um, the uh, power button and you keep pressing the home button until Apple logo appears. And when the uh, Apple logo appears, simply press one time on the power button and your phone will actually go into the... Um, into the recovery mode. This is actually the standard procedure. Okay, so the phone is now in recovery mode. Recovery mode means uh, iTunes logo with the power cable and that little arrow, okay? And according to your operating system, if it's on a 64-bit or 86, which is 32, and you have to select one of those. Don't worry, if your computer is not on 64, you will see that because you cannot run this 64 application, as you can see. And um, you have to run the proper one, you click yes, it will actually uh, start, and then you have to simply go to x86, and you will see that those files, you should never delete those two files, okay? Never ever, <laughs> hopefully. And um, after that, go to binary, to env wizard, okay? You have to start env wizard, Double click here and you will see this little um, wizard here and you click next. You will have to select the uh, device according to the vendor ID, product ID and description and it has to be Apple mobile device in recovery mode, which is this one. Uh, this is actually the device for which you create a filter. You click next, 
you leave uh, those things unchanged at all and you click next again. You will save, you're actually create a new folder, would be better for you to create a new folder on the screen. You click new and folder and name it driver. Pretty sweet. Now you open the folder. Sorry guys, it seems it has some issues. I'm gonna go ahead and click again next and go back to desktop and see if my folder was created. Uh, driver. Driver here and click save. Now you will, you will see this little button here. You click install now. You click yes. It will ask you for sign it your verification if you really want to install this uh, driver signed by whoever, this one. You click install driver anyway because it's not signed but it works. Actually driver install won't take very much. Even if it says installation can take some time, it will actually take a few seconds, uh, maximum a minute. It says up to five minutes, probably because my Windows is very slow, but uh, when I'm not shooting a video and when uh, Camtasia is not sucking up my memory, uh, it simply goes uh, almost instant. As you can see, the reason it can be so long, it's actually, um, okay, installation successful. Okay, and after that you simply have to, um, to start again your... Um, command prompt cmd and now you will see i will be able to access the phone using irecovery for that i'm going to go here in irecovery and i'm gonna write uh s and as you can see i boot for n42 uh actually um this is an iphone 5 the one i have here um it's actually an iphone 5 if i go to uh, itunes probably it won't uh, actually tell you which kind of iphone it is if I am wrong, uh, but let's just try. Maybe we can uh, detect something. Maybe we can sniff it. It doesn't seem to pop out here. I don't know why. Let me try again. Today, 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 today. I will probably uh, get older waiting for it to work. Oh, iTunes, you're pretty dumb. Probably because of that uh, live USB, but it's actually an iPhone 5. It's my bypassed iPhone 5, and um, you actually got access to the phone. You can, uh, if you have an iBoot exploit, you can actually uh, go IS deck and key bag and work. Okay, so um, but if you want to set arguments, it's set args. You can set args like that, or set env if you want. Set env. Set env again. Uh, boot args um, auto boot something like that and you set it to true whatever and yeah uh, but actually and save and okay save environment and you can actually uh, control the, uh, the device for example if I write reboot my phone will actually reboot and I'm not going to press enter now because I want to show you something as you can see it's um, it's basically connecting to the phone itself got USB NAND and it actually connects to the uh, microsept and as you can see, it simply got connected to the phone. And if you, I use the S parameter, but if you have an iBoot exploit, you can, or a payload for anything else, you can send it by using the F parameter. Okay, I'm gonna try the reboot function to see if it synchronizes with the phone, which of course it did, but whatever. The phone seems to be, um, oh, pretty hard, but it did actually did okay it actually rebooted which is kind of strange it's now um, okay it rebooted so this is basically how you um, you work with this um, this application the F parameter which you have to use the F parameter and a uh, file name and whatever for example um, that F parameter and where is the file I had okay for example this one and yes of course 
and it did send the, uh, the thing out. There we go, it worked, basically. Okay, so um, this is basically it. This is how you install live USB. Uh, again, for those who um, want to hear it again, never ever delete the, uh, the file created by this one. It will actually create um, these two uh, files on your computer. Never, ever, 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 never delete those two files because you will end up uh, without any USB compatibility in your computer. And you have no keyboard, no mouse, no anything else. So you're pretty much fucked up if you delete these files. In another video, I'm going to show you how to actually uninstall this driver, but it's not that easy as you think. So no, don't try it yourself. Thanks for watching and I hope this video really got you um, a point of view about this live USB and if you ever wanted to install it now you can do it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, this is pretty much it. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Goodbye!